<clears throat> All right, Ching Han. Uh, Chloe, are you able to hear me? Are you there? You'll be Zhi Ru, Dui Ma. Hi, Yenan. Please turn on your camera, please. Thank you. Oh, that Kai Shang Ho. Sorry. What do you say? Hi, Chloe. Can I see your full face? Thank you. Everyone, full face like me, like that, at least up to the chin there, right? Thank you, Chloe. Chloe, which school are you from? Hi, Yenan. Yenan, can I have your camera turned on? Hi, Chloe. Yes, which school? Uh, Zhonghua. Zhonghua. Is it the, the, the uniform with a, a leaf, right? Uh, yeah. Oh! Well, you same school with my wife, huh? Mm -hmm. the <laughs> okay, Zhonghua. The, the one is Serangoon North, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Near, near to next, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just to confirm. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you're in there, you don't know. That's why you never go shopping there. La. Hi, Yenan. Which school are you from? Uh, the Bukit Mera. Oh, Bukit Mera. Okay. Who? Okay, all taking O level. Huh? Both of you, Chloe and Yenan. O level, right? O level. O level. Yenan. Hello, my dear. Ah, thank you. Don't be so scared. La. This is not tuition. This is a crazy class, free class, very relaxed. Am I recording, uh, Antina? Yes? Okay. Okay, let's start with the lesson proper. Today is the last lesson of the month for this month, the transport, air, land, and sea transport. Okay. Why can I move on? Oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I can't move my, my screen because I told you I got three monitors. Three screen to look at. Ah, Zhongnan Zhong Yin Jing Lai Yao. Okay. Okay, I want you to start off with this visual graphic text, okay? And tell me as much as you can. Uh, Yi, uh, Yen Nan and Chloe, do you know what is visual graphic text? Uh? Yen Nan. Are you there, Yen Nan? Hello? Yeah, yeah, can you repeat again? Okay. Uh, sure. What is a visual graphic text? Uh, I never heard before. Chloe? Me wa. Ni me chuo paper too me? Um the the visual text. Yeah, the visual text. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Please, please, you're going to be set for next year, my dear. Oh. Hey, don't forget that next year you got oral presentation, no. Okay, Athena, what do you see? An advertisement advertising for Marketplace Collective. Mm -hmm. Free admission. A lot of people are with like smiling faces. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. How about Tsunghan, what do you see? Uh, the different booths, like the photo booths, um, balloon giveaway, like different types of stores that are uh, to it to attract people <laughs> to come. Then the uh title and the background with like celebrating and the um date, time and place. Thank you very much. You are very close to my answer. Remember, you forgot about this idea. Yeah. The Prata. Okay. See, you, and now you can say about this. See, you, and don't touch your handphone, please. Concentrate. Don't play your Brockstar or your Minecraft now. Concentrate. What do you see about this picture? What can you tell about this picture? Um, like it is advertising a marketplace um that has like a lot of booth, including the photo booth and all those. Um, and there will be some giveaways like the balloon one, and and there's a letter writing booth. Uh, so. So, okay. Yeah. That's all. All right. Come, uh, Yan Han and uh, Yan Han and Zi Ru, right? Or Chloe. So we are using the Prata P R A T A. The purpose of this poster is to get the audience who are interested to buy any things, uh, at these two days events at Marina Bay Sands. Okay. Is it reliable? Yes, it is in re reliable and it's in MBS. And the two days are given here and the time as well. And also, what is the tone? The tone is a friendly positive uh, with fun field excitements because you can see all the happy faces there with the MC as Shu, Shu Yong. And of course, we got the influencer or YouTuber or influencer will be there, all right, um, to, to mingle with the clouds and the customers. And letter writing is about writing about how you feel about this event, send it to yourself or send it to a loved one. And you can see a happy face on the free face painting for children who are interested to have a fun field wheel of a time event here. And you can see my, my face here. If you cannot see my face here, I will make it bigger. Now you can see it here. Okay, there is me. Huh? I'm, I, I'm here. I, this is me. My boss is here. And this was last year. We have a sun tech similar to this event, about 100 over store there. Okay, I'm the organizer. And so this, Poster was done by one of this uh, one of the girls who also using this. So it's organized by the T Cartel. Sp these are all the sponsorship. Uh, what is the phrase? Which the phrase that attract people? So the the last A R take note Yinan and Chloe is about the eight W and one H. Where is the place? Who can come? When is it? What time is it? Okay. What are all these things? What is happening? Who will be there? Uh, some MP, if I'm not mistaken, some uh, minister will be there, I think. And you can see there are a lot of stores, seriously. And some of my part, uh, some of my ex-students, really ex-students who already graduated, and uh, they are coming down to help Uncle Raymond to assist this place because it's about 200 over store, right? So uh, get, giving them a chance to interact and uh, involve. So in future, uh, some of you will next year after O-Level want to do a part-time job, please come lah. Okay, uh, one hour is 11 to 12 dollars. I can't remember. Huh? Anyway, uh, these are the influencers and people who are, will be there. And you can buy things. You can see there's a lot of things. I, got. I, I don't know a lot of things. I'm, I'm selling my books at there as well. Okay, and some of my old clothing. And even one of my students uh, this year, she's going to go there to sell her art piece. Okay, 
I gave her a place there and she's selling a art piece, uh, a, a set one girl, right? So um, yeah, this is how I want to bring visual graphics to a real life. And the last A is the eight W and one H, the tone, the audience. Who is the audience? Uh, people who want to go and buy things. And I want to look for something that I want to buy. I want to go there. I know my friends, uh, Hazel, Etienne, Xingyuan, Chloe, Yinan, Zhonghen, uh, maybe interested. He was telling me that day that uh, hey, Christmas is coming. Uh, I'd like to buy some gift for my friends, a uh, gift exchange. Where should I go? This is a place to go. This is a place that you will see a lot of things. Okay, seriously, a lot of things, seriously. And this Saturday, uh, just, I'm just sharing with you since we are doing uh, visual graphic text. So what people ask me, hey, how do I go there? What kind of transportation? Of course, you can take the MRT all the way to Bayfront. The moment you go out, there is the place. Hall A. You won't miss it. Okay? So this is what is visual graphic text. Thank you. So please, for now on, um, if you are doing your oral practicing, uh, you know you have to watching a video and then you have to give your sense, your two cents worth of thoughts to the examiner. You must be articulate and must be meticulous and you must not uh, tone, tone, tu, tu, uh. you must really say that and continue the same. So this is a picture about an event that everybody is looking forward to. It's a year end. And then there will be a lot of store. Uh, how will it be? It's going to be fun field and you can see there's a lot of happy faces. And this event was not once, but th this is the second time we organize. And in fact, today is Wednesday. In fact, last night, Tuesday, we have a, a Zoom meeting with all the part-timers for their role and duties, what to do on this Saturday, uh, what time they come to set up the place, you see? So I want to bring things in real life for you. At least you feel good. So of course, you can use Facebook if you want. This is my Facebook, Yinan and Chloe. I think the rest, ting dao xian liao. Okay, get tired of it. So now, this is my book. Uh, I'll be selling some of my books there in the... Uh, uh, the, the marketplace there. Okay, I only left about seven or eight books. Now. Okay, so this month we are talking about L N and C. Now, at, um, before you're doing this, uh, you were going to do a summary of this passage here. So, Songhan, please read. There are four types. There are four transport modes, air, water, land, and rail. Railways are and roads are the most commonly used modes of transport. The Grand Truck Road or the, G or the GT Road is one of the world's oldest roads and the largest in Asia. Since the dom domestication of animals in the Mesolithic, relating yeah. to or donate, don denoting the middle part of the Stone Age between the Paleolithic Paleolithic and the Neolithic period, humans started to work on different types of transport mechanisms. Developments in transport systems have come a long way. Today, aeroplanes and jets are the faster, fa fastest modes of transport. Humans have built jets, some of the fastest planes and jets are the USAF yeah, I mean, is, yeah, Blackbird. Uh, it's really got Blackbird. Uh. This Blackbird was used in the Saddam Hussein War and the war in Iran and Kuwait. And this Blackbird is the similar to the stealth fighter planes where the radar cannot detect this uh, spy plane. It's, uh, US got these three 30 over planes of this Blackbird, but I think they are really retired. They are now taken over by the USAF X-15s. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to remember what you're telling me all this. Uh. You need to know. That's all. You just need to know general knowledge in case you come across. Remember, you are not coming here for set three or set four. You are here to do all the way for your university. Now, very sad, uh, children, all of you. Honestly, can you show me a thumbs up? Uh? Okay, don't mind. Uh. Have you heard of all these things before in your life? Be honest, uh, be honest. Okay, uh, Yen Nan and Chloe, have you, and the rest, uh, and have you, you have seen these three words? You know? No, it's very sad, no? 
Not your fault, lah. Please do not bring yourself. In fact, if you are talking about 10 years ago, if you study set, set one history, yeah, you will learn these three words. It's called the caveman's age. Remember the stone age, the bronze age, the metal age. See how much? The different era. The stone, that means from the caveman's all the way, the, the Paleolithic, the and Mesolithic, a uh, uh, prehistorical age. This is like a caveman. They use this age, uh, uh, this, this uh, era, to represent the, the, what do you call the inventions and technologies of weapons. From a stone spear to a, a bronze spear to a, a, a kind of metal spears and slowly involved to now we have the latest titanium, aluminium. Uh, why you I need to know? Uh, and you need to know uh, because it's a history, the milestones. So when you see this word in your comprehension passage or in your listening comprehension, then you say, huh, what the hell is these three words? Uh? It sounds very alien to me. Now you don't need to be alien, right? And then, uh, now you know what uh, these are the age from the stone age all the way. Uh, if you want to talk about it in set one, I used to teach uh this these topics. Uh. It takes about at least two or three lessons to understand all these. Uh. So just you know, that means it's another word, uh, Tihan, from a pre-dinosaur period until now. Uh. Okay, that's all. <clears throat> so, ladies and gentlemen, I would like you all of you to choose three words. So, Tihan, uh, uh, since, since you're reading, which three words will you choose from here? And you have to summarize this passage in 80 words. Okay, so for now on, every time we are doing a passage, you need to summarize. So there will be less homework, but homework on the spot. Okay. Hello, Mr. Zhonghen. Um, commonly used. Yeah. So later in your summary, you must use this word. Huh? And what else? Um, stone age period. Wait, 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 stone wait. age, stone age. Where are oh, this one? Okay. The third one, the maximum is five to six only. Uh. If you uh, know that it is fine with me, but let's do it with three helping words, keywords. Mechanism. Mechanism. Where there is mechanism? Where are they? Uh, the different oh, okay, types. Okay, of... okay. So, Yenan and Chloe, you don't want to do it, it's fine. Uh. So, but the other five students, you must do. Okay, and then uh, uh, choose another three words. Oldest and largest. Where is oldest? Or oldest. Okay, thanks. I like your initiative. Are you ma? And then uh, Miss Tang? Development. Development. Xing Han, your turn. Uh, Sorry? What do you say? Uh, I can't hear you. Uh, I mean. Huh? Uh, I'm not sure. I beg your pardon. I really can't hear you. I'm sorry, man. Uh, Which tree? Uh, Hazel. The words that you choose later must use in your summary. Yeah? Hazel, you can start doing now. Okay. Zhong Han and Xing Yuan, you can start doing now. And then you can start doing now. Xing Han. Uh, a A Asia. Ancient, is it? Asia, yeah. Asia. Did you say Asia? Yeah. Okay, Asia then? Uh Going, <laughs> so if you want to take part, you can underline yourself, huh? Like what Yinan is doing. I like your initiative. Very good. Uh, one more? Two more, two uh, more. Dif different? Difference, all right. One more. Uh Uh, huh? Sorry. Yes. Uh, trans transport. Transport. Uh, okay. Let's go. So your job now is to write eighty words to summarize this using the three keywords that you have. Chloe. Chloe. Uh. Yenan, okay. Yenan, sorry, right. Uh, Zhong Han, Qi Han, Hazel, and Diana, and Xing Yen. Yenan. 
Is it right on a piece of paper or right on the screen? Uh, you can type in your answer in the Zoom chat. Then Uncle Raymond will copy your answer and put it in this uh, Okay. Ah, uh, yes, Okay, what the hell? No, 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 don't type here, don't write here, don't write here. Zoom chat, put in the Zoom chat. Type in the Zoom chat. Where's my Zoom chat? Uh, type here. Thank you. Remember when you're writing your summary is eight point, right? 80 words with eight points. And each sentence, if possible, put it into 10 words per sentence. But then again, sometimes your sentence can be 12 words per sentence or 15 words per sentence or even seven word per sentence. I don't care how it works. As long as you give me 80 word exactly. You cannot give me less than 75. You cannot give me more than 81 words. Now, you we all know summary writings consists of 15 marks. So, Chloe, my dear, and Yen Nan, my dear, now you know what is visual graphic text, right? Later, we'll go there with it in more. As now you know that um, the visual graphic text use Prata. What is the purpose, reliability, audience, the tone, and the 8W and 1H, a list of 8W, 1H, to analyze the entire visual graphic text. Not only for your set for next year, but I can use it for the rest of your life. I use it my real example, right? With the Marketplace Collective. Can I just write it on the screen? Because when I'm typing in the chat, the... The visual text right keep going off like when I'm typing it keep like cannot see the text already. No, I I need to put inside here. That's the problem. I I don't know how if you type in the screen here then you might after you move on, I will do uh do you know a bit troublesome. You 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 are using laptop right? Uh, iPad. iPad. Oh my goodness, sorry, I'm not going iPad. iPad should be able to if you do you see a Zoom chat there. In the Zoom chat. Yeah, when I'm open the Zoom chat, right, yeah. then the screen off. Like the passage I cannot see already. Oh. So I must it, like write it uh, here. Never mind. I, is your handphone with you? Yeah. Okay, you just send you just send this to my WhatsApp. Ah, oh, okay. Mm, easier. No, it's not I you cannot type on the, the, the screen here, but because after that, uh, you get distorted uh, the, the whole screen. Thanks. So please, Chloe, if you want to, I'll use the three words, okay? The three words will help you inside. But of course, the three keywords that you're selecting from this passage, of course, please use your own uh, own words as much as you can. Huh?
Is it the words that are underlined, right? Must use. Oh, if those words that you underline, it's better to use it. So in your real summary writing, in your own level, those are the keywords that you're going to use it inside the 80 words. Okay, get it? Thank you, sir. Are you sending to my handphone? Uh, I'm typing. All right, thank you. Chloe, okay, Chloe? Can I? Uh? Chloe, I cannot see your face. Don't show me your hair. Eh? I don't like people to show their hair to me. You don't want, you know, you have show your hair. You show your hair, that you're in love with me. Your hair is more than me. I'm still smiling, I'm still smiling. Look. 越南的头发比我多，你看他也是可以看整个飞哦，对吗？谢谢你，大哥。开玩笑啊，不要生气啊。This is the F class. You know the F words are the F class. The F words. Are you saying the F word to me? Yes. Right, and then uh, the F words. Right, the first time you come F word. <laughs> are you okay, and then today you see, you look like, you look like a fat fat. You know what is fat fat? Unknown what? 接下去怎么讲？无精打采。你没有听过这个字啊？你们听过无精打采？啊，serious？无精打采就是好像目不嗯目不嗯没有精神这样，好像很累这样，好像你来那个这样，你懂吗？呃，来那个，你懂吗？
I counted is 74. Okay, let's see, man. No worry. 74 is a Hey, for your standard, 74 is not, not, not very little. Hey, you have a friend called Zixi, right? In standing, right? Long ago. Huh? Very long ago. We were childhood friends. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was last two days in my social study class. Oh. Then how you know her? Then how, then how you know that me and her know each I other? I don't know that. Then I just talk, talk, talk. Then suddenly say, I got this student now, always like to argue with me. Eh. I'm referring to you. Lah. I don't know she know you. Ma. I really argue. I love it. Like, interesting. I enjoy it. Then talk, talk. I thought, nan, 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 yeah, nan hua, right? Uh, then talk, talk, talk. They say, uh, they say, eh? uh, do you know, are you from now? No, I, uh, I know he's his, uh, uh, I mentioned your name. Suddenly I mentioned, are you his friend? Yes, I'm sure. Oh my God, what's the case? Why are you talking shit about me? That's so mean. I'm so mean. Something good for you must show off to people, man. Talk shit about me. You talk shit, I always argue with you. It's true, what? I not complain. I I I, 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 I complain. I I'm making your job more fun for you, ma. Thank you. I, I prefer students like to argue with me, talk back to me, scold me, rather than keep quiet on your sin, ah. Okay, I cannot take it. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, Fifty-four words. Take a go. Not enough. Did I not enough? Ah, sorry. Ah. I think the total words are about like hundred or something. No, I only got this. This one. This is the only one I have. Fifty-four words. No, I meant the original. Right, it's yeah. like hundred, hundred plus words. But you don't care about the original. I want you to summarize to in eighty words. Yeah. You don't worry about the original. Hey, what, what's wrong? Uh? I cannot move. Uh. Now I can move. Hey, what's wrong? Ah. Why cannot? Uh, sorry. Let me share again. Am I sharing? Sorry, uh, give me a minute. Uh, something wrong with my screen. Uh. Uh, give me a minute. I stop sharing because I stop sharing. Okay, what's wrong? Uh, I stop sharing. Where is my sharing screen? Okay, now I want to share. Okay, how come my this thing cannot move? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, I saw something wrong. Give me a minute, sorry, you need to mess. Um, here's the scary. Take away this one. Okay. What's wrong, man? Stop sharing. 
working with it now. I don't know what's wrong with my screen now. I just have to do. Okay, uh, nobody sent again. Oh my god. You see, just now Uncle Raymond choose six words. Uh, straight away, I, within five seconds, I can come out my answer. Eh? Tina will say, Tina, you will say, Uncle Raymond, you are teacher, ma. Of course, you're faster. No. Tina, this is called Perfect practice make perfect. Shu nan shen qiao, kun gua lan shou. Chloe, you think this is a word? Wow, you're a gang hua, right? Wow, come on, how do we do it? Congratulations, what is next? Fa chai. Congratulations, you're a gang hua. Hey, sir, I know you're very lame, right? So, what's next? Bai tu. Hey, Zhen Zhen. 真真什么？生意很好。真真什么？日上。Very good。你讲谁讲？哦，不错哦，好像我在教华文。好，来，我更给你来。上梁不正。下梁歪。喂。哇。或者是。近或者黑。哇。老师输的五体投地。各有什么？千秋哦，八仙过海各有千秋。哇、wow, ，I really admire people who are good in Chinese. No, seriously, I always tell my children, I have three children. I say you can feel my English. I don't give a bloody damn. If you feel your Chinese, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, I got one Chinese student. Ah,、uh, he can even tell me, "Zhong Zi is burger." Why can't I say triangle burger for mosh burger? 请看，有比 surprise 啊！你说粽粽子不知道来源是七言，七言 my cousin 啊，跳进江啊 ，OK 啊 ，understand？ 你跟我讲粽子是什么 burger？Oh my god， s e r i o u s l y o h my god， 我真的要亏切啊！哎呀，哎，出了没有？出了啊 ，OK，Thank、okay, you。哇，中文也是 first one，Thank you very much。有没有九十个？有没有八十个字？ Seventy nine. Okay, I trust you. I don't want to count. Da dao. No, did you? I just heard about da dao kuo fu. Yeah. You ma? Da dao kuo fu. One million person. One bullet shot. 三心两意，四通八达，五福临门，六指擒魔，七手八脚。Sorry, I'm a bit bored, so I'm practicing my Chinese. Thank you, Qing Ye, Qing Han. 感谢新人 ，very good 新人 ，continue to be this kind of proactive 啊 ，I love it my baby， thank you 啊 ，thank you Nizar， 越南啊，有时候还要 Chinese 啊。Well, respect you, sir.
，那你有听过七步诗吧？有没有？煮豆什么什么？煮豆什么？煮豆燃豆诗，什么？同事根本身，他没有听过吗 ？I really like this poem. No, very meaningful. 哈喽 ，Where is your name? Today I can't find your name. Oh my goodness, sorry. Where are you? Where are you? I lost you. Okay, you are here. Okay, 剩下那两位宝贝 ，Come, let's go. Give it to me, then. Let us save it. You sent to me already, yeah, yeah. You sent to me. I sent your WhatsApp. Oh, I'm so sorry. No wonder I was waiting, waiting. Okay, okay, okay. I go to my WhatsApp and look for it now. Hey, where's my mouse? My where is my mouse? My mouse is not moving. Oh, okay, here we go. Chloe, your turn. Where is yours? Are you done, Chloe? Okay, I don't want to take too long of time. So, Chloe, you just continue. Uh, Hazel, will you mind with your answer to the class, please? Your summary for these uh, two paragraphs. Back to you, okay. Hazel. The first modes of transportation were walking and animal riding. The invention of the wheel by Sumerian people in Mesopotamia and intercontinental intercontin intercontin Intercontinental roads allowed heavier loads to be transported with ease. In the 18th and 19th centuries, railways were introduced and changes appeared. There was a major turning point in history after the investigation of the steam engine. Railways, railway lines were set up in 1825 in England after the invention. Today, steam trains evolved into bullet trains. I realized the whole thing you just copied from the text. Only the last sentence you change your own words. <laughs> never, never. You must see. See, what? like, the invention of the wheel by Sumerian people. I also changed the whole thing. What? I changed, like, the sentence structure and everything. Okay. Yeah, I see that. From, okay, yeah, this part here. Yeah. All right. Exactly. Thank you. Antenna, your turn. The oldest mode of transportation is walking and riding animals. When the wheels were first created, invented by the people of Mesopotamia, it changed everything, allowing the transfer of bulky and heavy items easily. Soon, Silk Road, the Silk Road Road and Grand Trunk Roads were built for easier transportation and efficiency. When railway was introduced, there was even there was even there was even bigger change. The making of steam engine was a turning point in the history of transportation. Now, steam engines has turned into bullet trains for more efficiency. For more effect, for more efficiency and for more productivity. Okay, sing again. One of the most ancient mode of transportation is walking and animal riding. However, Sumerian people in a uh, Meso Mesopotamia Mesopotamia made life easier by inventing wheels, which makes heavier loads easier to carry. Most ancient roads, like the Trump Road, were also constructed. Following, railways were invented in the 19th century. The invention of steam engine is a turning point of history in transformation. In addition, railway lines were set up in 1925 from Stockton and Darlington. Nonetheless, the steam trains has evolved into wood. Since you mentioned about Stockton, Stockton and Darlington, uh... It remind me, I think, when Singapore started their first MRT line from 
Wow, the only state station, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I uh, know that was in 1988 when I was still in my JC time. Uh, uh, it was only state station, Topayo, Brother, Amokyo, Bishan, Yochukang, and Brother. Six station only, no. And it was underground. Right? So everyone was so like happy. First time never see train. Then after they expand more and more, wow, made life easier. And now you can see uh, recently all the roads are uh, there now making more uh, circle line, downtown lines, Thompson line, all this line to let this make people to travel public transport than owning a vehicle. Zhongan? Transportation began with walking and riding animals. The, the invention of the wheel by the Sumerians transported, transformed how people move heavy lo loops. Later on, routes like the Sik Route and the Grand Tran Road were connected. A major change happened in the 18th and 19th century with the steam engine. Which I can't see down. Uh, invented by James Watt leading to the first railway in 1825 between Stockton and Darlington. Stockton. Stockton and Darlington. Over time, trains evolved, and today, hypersonic bullet trains are marvel on, of modern transport. Oh, I love this word, man. I like the way you use the marvel of modern transport. Please write down, I love this word. It is not only marvel of modern transport. We are talking about EV cars and the driverless car. It's also one thing that this is your generations, uh, all of you listening. It's your generation to improve, to improvise, to invent, to involve, to intervene whatever you can to make this transport more eco-friendly, more sustainability, okay, and less global warming and less pollution to reduce climate changes. Can it be done? It can be done. It can be done. But how long it takes? We already started from your parents and my generations. So if the rest is up to your capability and ability. And uh, you mentioned that later on routes like Silk Road, uh, instead of later on, uh, uh, you can say, as time goes by, routes like Silk Roads. Uh, instead of this, as time goes by, take more words, right? So later on will be good. Or you can change. Furthermore, you can say furthermore, okay? Real routes like this. Okay, thank you. Tzuru, Niami, how are you? Chloe, are you done? Have you sent the answer to me? You haven't sent, no? Okay, never mind. Don't stress. If not, I will just move on. Yenan, Yenan, your turn. Alias, please speak. The earliest modes of transportation were walking and, and animal riding. The invention of the wheel changed the entire life, has made the transportation of heavier load on the go. The intercontinental, intercontinental, intercontinental roads were big. Big changes in the transportation happened were introduced. Railways, uh, railways lines were built up for the very first time. Now, about two hundred years since the discovery of stream, uh, stream trains have evolved into trains. Into bullet trains. I like the way you say about two hundred years. Especially Uncle Raymond love history so much. When you bring this kind of nostalgic feeling, a one shoot to the way way. Oh my God! You see, I'm talking about the past of railway, the present of railway, and yeah. the future of railway. Yes, yes. You want to say something? Yes. Yes. What you want to say? It's what you want to say. <laughs> it's what you want to say. I love to what you say. Thank you. Hi, man. Mira. Okay, Chloe, your turn. <coughs> the invention of the wheel by the Sumerian people changed the tradition of walking and animal riding. This, facilit this facilitated the transportation of heavier loads. The introduction of railways had made major changes in transportation in the, 19, in the 18th and 19th centuries. Railways lines were set up for the first time from Stockton and Darlington after the invention. Steam trains have also evolved into hypersonic bullet trains. Invention of aeroplanes, which is the fastest by the Wright brothers, had also changed the field of transportation, which allowed us to travel overseas in just a few hours. Wow, I love your last few few lines. Very good. 
not only you use your own words, you bring us uh, from from okay, ready? From on the land to the air. From the land to the air. It's the only thing you miss if you can bring from the sea to the land to the air. Which the Sumerians also bring the same thing. Uh, they start to build ship, build boat. Wait, wait, wait. Why are we learning all this, Uncle Raymond? Yes. Because we are talking about logistic. You missed the past three lessons. The rest of you were with me for the past few lessons. You understand why. It is so important, okay? Thank you, everyone. I think uh, it's worth to wait for all of you to submit the answer. Now, let me read this one. Okay, and then I want you to... Okay, another invention in the field of transportation was of aeroplanes. Aeroplanes were invented by the Wrights brother in the 1903s when the first flights took off from North Carolina's USA. Aeroplanes are the fastest modes of transportation. Allowing you to trust... Hey, you copy this, huh? This one, no need, eh? I thought you, this one is uh, not inside here. I thought you using your own word. Sorry, yeah. I didn't know that. So this is the part here where I thought it's your your uh, your own. So it's from here. Okay, so it's from the text. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, this is not supposed to be inside here, but okay, fine. Let's move on. Huh? So this is a paragraph connected to the rest. So different modes. So uh, may I have uh, Tihan, can you read the next paragraph? The different modes. The different modes of transportation are road, uh, road, rail, sea, and air. Roadways account for 87% of passenger traffic and 67% of freight traffic movement. On the other hand, railways are cheaper means of transportation for both humans and goods. So this paragraph is talking about the best transport is not just one, but there are a couple of them in air, land, and sea. But the most, uh, most, most popular is definitely the roadways, which is 80% of the population's travel. And about 67 of the population travel on freight depends on whether the air, the land, or the sea. Nevertheless, on the other hand, or they say nevertheless, railways are cheaper in means of transportation for both uh, a human's movement from one place to another place, as well as goods and services like those bulky items. Next paragraph, may I have Hazel, air and land and sea. Air and sea transports are used to travel to distant places or, other, or different countries. Travelling by sea is environmentally friendly as other means of transport use fuels like petrol and diesel, which release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Whether you like it or not, thank you very much. Whether you like it or not, this air and sea transport is very close to the CC Zhang Quan. And these two transportations has been, as far as um, inventions of air transportations by the, the, the brothers who invented aeroplanes, and used in World War One and Two or whatever it is until now, it is inevitable that traveling is part and parcel of daily life now. Especially now in December and, and November, and December holidays, a lot of people are flying, taking cruise, uh, relaxations, and start a brand new year in twenty twenty five. But at the expense of carbon dioxide, who cares, man? It's just like who cares? I say, but people are spending so. There is any other way to reduce the carbon dioxide or not? Let's go. May I have CN? In recent years, government have focused on buildings uh, electric and sustainable modes of transportation such as electric cars, bicycles and public transit. This shift is driven by concerns about environmental sustainability and the impact of traditional transportation on climate change. It is true that recently a lot of EV car, e-scooter, e-bike, e-whatever things is very popular on Singapore road. Uh, being myself as a police officer who has volunteered and of course to say that sometimes when we see, uh, sometimes I cannot take it out. Uh, when I see these people who are taking an e-scooter and e-bikes traveling on the illegal path platform, uh, I will use the word illegal, not the right, okay, don't use illegal, maybe not on the right path, uh, pathway for them to travel. Supposed to be passengers or, not passengers, are uh, supposed to be, um, not passengers, what you call this? Pedestrian. Okay, and then they travel this. But some of them really are uh, handicapped. You know, 断, 断脚的, because of diabetes. So they got no choice they have to take the e-scooter to travel. Some even like today, it was so poor thing, it was raining so heavily. When I was driving to, where, where I was driving to? Uh? I can't remember, where did I drive? Uh? Today where I go? Uh? Uh, anyway, um, oh, yesterday I went to see doctor, right? I saw an uncle at the traffic light. 真的是落炭机, sorry. The whole body was like raining cats and down, the whole body was drenched, you know. Ah, I know he's a delivery guy because he put there grab food. 
and didn't wear a raincoat, no. But because he need to EKE a living, wait a sun sun a shen chun, zi sai yi ling. I was like, really pretty. And then this, just now, six months when I went to cut my hair, I saw an auntie pushing a, 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 a trolley with all the cardboard. And me'll na yi san zheng sen si da wan ne. Uncle Raymond, why you tell me all these things? Uh? They are using this gong ji, transportation to make a living. So the government had to change. Last time, we do not have all these machines to help them. But now with the e-scooter and e-bike, they have a way or means to survive through. We are talking about CCA and BIA. Sorry, uh, if the two person, two of you are just came in, uh, this is what you learn in school, maybe on the textbook. Here, I want to teach you in real life. Next paragraph, may I have... Uh, who are? The, 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 latest developments in transportation. Latest developments in transportation. Where? Our uh, bullet trains, drones, submarines, and space, space rockets are among the latest developments in transportation. Recently, Amazon and e-commerce commercial company. E-commerce. E-commerce. E-commerce company has started de delivering via drone. Company like Tesla, SpaceX, Boeing, etc. are building futuristic futuristic cars Future, and spacecraft we, which will cover thousands of miles in an hour. So you see, whether you like it or not, Yenan, Xinyuan, Qinghan, and then uh, Hazel, Zhongnan, and Chloe. Whether like it, this is your generations. This is the time when we really have to not just study. I feel that your this generation is not just very sucks in terms of stress uh, compared to my generation and your grandparent generations. Our stress is only physical, but your stress is really a lot of stress. You are going to compete with not only all these things. Uh, you are going to compete in the world arena, a lot of things. Though. It's not about A1s that you score everything. Are you good in terms of presentation, all these things? It's very important. Seriously, presentation skill is important, like SpaceX, all these Tesla. You can have the best machines on the road, but if you don't know how to present it, to tell people why this transportation must be a driverless car, to convince, to connect, to be creative, to construct a good arguments, presentation skills. Okay, so now, every time when you read a paragraph, be it your storybook, your comprehensions or anything, Pause for a few seconds and please resonate. Just like Shakespeare, soliloquy. So this paragraph is talking about what? Then how? If I learned something, what is the key word? Why do you think the author say in this way? You don't just read and then go, just move on. If you want to go for A level and university, you don't do these kind of things. Okay, because A level have to write about 800 to 1,000 words. If you go to university, it's about a few thousand words. If I have the chance next week, uh, I will show you my recently, my boy, uh, one of my boy, I have to ask his permission. Uh, he's an IB student, a Singaporean studying in Shanghai, American school. He wrote about 2,000 words. Okay, maybe I will show you the video if I can. Uh, I have get his permission. Okay, it's not easy, no? And you know what she said now, uh, Antenna? Hey, so how, uh, Gareth, what you do, uh? Oh, uh, I'm going to present to my 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 teacher, okay? With these two thousand words, no, I need to memorize the whole essay. I said, "What the f? Huh? Are you serious, or Yes, I need to memorize. You know, memorize, and I need to present to the teacher face to face. How are you going to do that? I have to. You. This is the competition is not here in this classroom, like in this room, like. Your competition is out there with all the international students. Eh? I don't give a damn which school are you from, what is your grade A1, A2. You will talk about it. You will not say Next week, I will ask permission say, say, Gareth, can I show your video to my class? Though? If you say okay, then I'll show you. Lah, okay? Most likely, you can okay one. All right, so look at this question here. How to write a short essay on transport? Okay, transport refers to the move of human skills through the different means. So this is one way to start off uh, your introduction using AIMS. Yen, uh, Yen and Chloe, you might know what I mean by AI, your atmosphere. 
okay, your, your interesting sentence or statements, a quote using Facebook. And then you what is the thing that motivate you that the reader will give the good introductions and of course the suspend the next paragraph. You realize that every time when you see someone the first time in your life, you have must have a good presentations, right? You must smile, you must greet the person. If you go to your friend's house, you don't don't greet their grandparents. Hey, hello, brother, how are you? So this is the way. Okay, introductions like that. Huh? Later on with the domestication of animal people. Okay, this is three. Huh? <clears throat> okay, this is how it started off. Okay, what is the difference? So this is a, a starting like what you did just now in a few paragraphs. Okay, so now practice. Uh, by right, you're supposed to say um, how many people take transport to school. Is it by walking, by bus, by your father who, or father or mother who drove you to school the past few months? Or what? You take an MRT? Uh, some people take BMW. Huh? BMW stands for I take a bus, then I take MRT, then I walk to school. That's called BMW. True, right? Some people take bus. After that, go to MRT. Need to transfer man, the feeder bus. Like last time I stayed in Amokyo. I have to take a bus to the Amokyo MRT. Then after that, walk to school, right? These are the questions last few uh, last week that you guys has come up with. Okay, I like your answer, Sing Yuan. Okay, so what? Okay, can you read the questions? I think last week we did that, uh, Sing Yuan. Is it not uh, in dinner? Did we read the question? Hello? Did we do it? Uh? No, right? You may you. Hazel, you may you. you may you. Yeah. No, no uh, okay, so Sing Yuan, can you read the four question, please? Sing Yuan. What are the environmental environment impacts of land, air, and sea fight? How do transportation costs for land, air, and sea fight compare? What are the key challenges and risks associated with land, air, and sea fight? If you're very soft, like, please, please. Please, you're going to be set for You're going to read like that, you feel already, bro. Don't mind, huh? read louder a bit. I know you're a very soft-spoken person, but I'm so sorry. Huh? Please, louder a bit. Thank you. Which mode of transportation do you think is the most cost efficient? So you see, uh, Vietnam and Chloe, so you, you create the visual graphic text and you come out your own architect. You are the architect, you are designer of the questions. So in future, when uh, next year I'm going to show you, some of you are, uh, next year I'm going to show you a visual graphic text. I will not show you the question. I want you to tell me, you have to think what kind of questions will link to that paragraph, right? Remember just now the, 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 the marketplace, Connect collective, uh, the picture. Then you come out your Prata questions. So Han, so this uh, out of four questions, sing it. The one I like is question number three. What are the key challenges and risks associated with land and sea? I like question number three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sing Chong Han. Who is the possible target audience? The target audience are clients who want to ship their goods and services. What is the purpose of the picture? The picture is to tell the customer that don't worry. You are being covered for air, land, and sea. Just tell me which destination you want to go. We will deliver to your doorstep. What is the tone of the picture? It's a very sunny. It's a very positive. It's a vibrant picture that tell you that, okay, we are there 24 by 7, rain or shine. Question number four. From the picture above, how do transportation affects, affect people's people? Being like oh, yeah. It's really it's a, a very paramount and very ultimately a very important um, impact to us because certain goods... But there's a grammar issue. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I agree. Okay, just hold on. I We are not looking at the grammar issue now. We want to look at the the uh, the questions. Thanks, uh, Ye, uh, Ye Nan. Okay, so what we are looking... See, I, sorry, I lost my train of thoughts. Okay, so it's a very impactful to, um, to our human, uh, our daily life because sometimes we need certain medicine to be shipped to certain place. Okay, some drugs are developed in other countries, and for example, some diabetes drugs, uh, um, dementia drugs, or some cancerous drugs that is not produced in Singapore and need to ship from other countries immediately for patients or for certain type of foods for certain type of healthcare products. All right, thank you. Hazel, your turn. 
What is a suitable title for this picture? <laughs> what is the super title? I can't think of it now. Air, land, and sea. I would say um for carrying different types of transportation mode. Huh? Tourists? Mm. It seems to mm. me like tourists. Yeah, because cruise month, you see the cruise and then the air yeah, balloons. And then the hot air balloon and the uh, taxi. Hot air balloons, yeah. Hot air balloons, yeah. It's more to the tourists or maybe to uh what do you call this? Uh tourists, yeah, tourists, different mm. type of modes to to visit different countries. Uh next question, please. What is the Hazel? Mm. Question number two. Who is the target audience? Of I this think it's uh, very clear. Uh, it's all about tourists and people who like to travel, like the hot air balloons and the cruise. Question number three. What tone does this image portray? Oh, definitely is a very positive, very lively, and yeah. very encouraging tones. Uh, right. To encourage people to go out and travel. Next question. How do, the, how do the images surrounding the vehicles reinforce air land? And see for importance. So you see the, the land is in the middle, right? I like it uh, because land is in between the air and the sea. So it means that it's a connectivity with these two different modes by sea and air. So when you want to travel by sea, you need to go to the dock, D-O-C-K, to park your car and then take it to the ship. Then you also have to drive to the airport car park and to take a hot air balloons. Of course, it's not a hot air balloon that I would replace a hot air balloon as aeroplane. Question, uh, Ching Han. Uh, what are the advantages of having a land and sea first? There are a lot of advantages. The advantages is, number one, is that it's fast and convenient. And it is the best transportation you can think of is air. Why? It's not just fast and convenient. It will deliver things within um, less than 24 hours with the latest technology. Number two? Uh, how does land and sea right? differ from each other? It depends on the cost. It depends on how much you want to spend, how fast you want to deliver your goods, and how how secure you think is. I think sea freight forwarding <clears throat> is pretty safe unless is we meet with we we meet with a, a hurricane or typhoon. Question three. <clears throat> Which mode of transportation is most prominent in the I think you need to say that huh? the very oh. prominent the transport will be land transport. You can see the middle the foreground. The middle ground and the background here. This is definitely a foreground. That this truck here is the one. You no matter how you fly, you ship. At the end of the day, you still have to land on the land. And this guy is going to pick out your goods and deliver to your doorstep. Question number four, please. Why is it necessary to have many different types of? Because of geography, terrain. So some terrains you cannot go by land. You have to go by sea. So for example, North Pole, huh? Who the hell got known for? Yeah, Eskimo. Eskimo. So desert. Okay. And also certain parts of uh, Amazons and in Brazil, or even different parts of the Indonesia's uh, places, or even in certain parts in China, right? The very mountainous area. Okay. Thank you. That's a very interesting question. Thank you, Chinghan. Uh and then your turn. Oh, you, you, you came out already, yeah. Thank you. Hey, all done already, yeah. So uh, the rest is about your essay. So air freight, let's talk about air freight, CEO Zhonghen. Why do you take air freight? Today a bit longer, don't mind. Huh? Why do you take air freight, Zhonghen? Uh, Why do you think air freight is the one that go for your business? Because I think like um in a current world, right? Yes. Air freight is like one of the most important transport. Mm -hmm. So for land, right, it's like quite slow. Oh. But Traffic for land and sea, it's quite slow. But for air, like, it's for like the premium um deliveries and like the things that are expensive and needs to be um traveled to other places. Might be a far distance. Maybe like from Asia to Europe or any mm -hmm. from Asia to um America. Especially when you want to deliver the frozen meat like beef, yeah, pork, yeah, yeah. Chicken, right? From Australia to Singapore, you don't go tell me you take sea. Yeah. By the time the thing comes here, the don't think expired. Very good. Thank you. 
Can I move on to the next person too, huh? Yes, and then your turn. Why you choose air freight? I believe that air freight is like faster than compared to other modes of transportation. And it's more efficient and safer because like if we were to order something from like Taobao or something like that, we ship it over by air usually, not by sea, because sea usually your your parcel or your package might be lost somewhere and they will be like refuse to go and help you search for it. Mm. So air freight is still safer for your package and more convenient. Yes. And true enough, uh, last time when I want to buy my first day cover, the stamp. Uh, because Uncle Raymond like to collect a lot of stamps. <clears throat> so when I order, uh, well, I have to wait for the ship to deliver the stamp to me. It took me, it took about two or three weeks. But now you see, uh, if I order my sneakers, my, my car accessory, uh, it take it took me about less than a week to deliver already. And even they can guarantee you. Thank you very much. Hazel, why you choose sea freight? Uh? In this, um, in this growing economy, okay, okay, What's so uh, <laughs> the inflation is on a rise. Oh wow, economics! Huh? All right, the inflation is on a rise. So, and because of that, yes, many people are suffering. Oh. from cost of living. Too from high. the cost of living, yeah. So there, so. Uh, sea freight is much cheaper. much cheaper than air freight. Okay, air freight is more even cheap. if air, air freight, even if it is not as fast, uh, it is less costly, which is a bigger problem in this society, especially in Singapore with the most, with the highest cost of living in Southeast Asia. I think. I, I, I'm I 90% sure. And because of this, I believe that sea freight will be best for our company because in Singapore, there are many people who are living in the... Poverty? Middle class. The and middle, poverty. the lower to middle class. The lower, the, the lower middle to middle middle class. Henceforth, henceforth, they will most likely choose sea freight over air freight. So that's why I think we should choose air, uh, sea freight. And don't forget in our Southeast Asia, there are 10 countries like Indonesia, Myanmar, Vietnam, Thailand, uh, Laos, Cambodia, um, what else? Uh, Myanmar, Malaysia, Indonesia. Yes, thank you. And Philippines, thank you very much. All these are, there are about more than 50 or more than 70% are in poverty. Okay, so we cannot use everything, so you have to use the cheapest means. It's true, uh, thank you very much. And Hazel, Luoling may not want to come to our year end party next month because you say I got nobody. If Hazel is not coming for the party, I won't come. Uh, you say got no friends. And then uh, oh. you're not his uh, friend, man. Uh, Sing it, you're not Rose, uh, Luoling's friend, right? Chinese is also known as Luoling, right? So Luoling, not sorry, he said next month, the year end party, I agree, man, I'm not coming because I got no people there. Are you. So can you all please encourage her no, to come? Lah, huh? I will see all of you on the 30th of December. Back to you, Ting Han. Uh, uh, the sea freight is uh, much more cost efficient than air freight while also being more environmentally friendly. At the same time, Singapore is an island nation where it's, uh, it is surrounded by seas. And sea freight would be one of the cheapest ways for goods to be shipped to other countries and from other countries. You take geography? Uh? uh, yeah. No wonder. Well done. In fact, it's true. Huh? In fact, Thailand and Malaysia, they want to cut a canal. Huh? You know the Suez Canal and the Panama Canal, right? The Suez Canal is in Egypt, if you study in your history. The Panama Canal is between the South America and the North America. So now they want to cut the Malaysia and Thailand. So once they cut this canal, or so-called big canal, or cut through the, the land, uh, Singapore one done now. All the ships will pass through the Malaysia and Thai borders. They will never come down to Singapore. So it really is true. And you are right, because we are very strong in the sea freight, because this is where more majority of the 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 the, 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 the free trade agreements, okay, we study in the social study, are uh, mostly on the sea freight. 
okay, from the, the other side of the world, the, the Atlantic to the Pacific Oceans, and then to the other oceans. Thank you very much. Last but not least, Xinyuan, why is you so special? Ah? You should plan freight forwarding. Um, I pick land freight because of um, it is like expensive. Yeah. expensive. You, you, can you put your mouth to your mic closer? We cannot hear you. Right? Well, okay. I do have a mic. Yeah, but it's very soft. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. He, he's using the school PLD. The school PLD might like, like not working. Oh. But Chung'an, you don't want to help him. You know this brother, he's just like this, he's very soft, very soft. No, it's not. It's not. Okay, he's very soft, I know, I know. He's been mad at me, I know. He's been mad at me, I know. I'm scared to say that. I'm scared to say that. 开玩笑了，新远，来再来一次。为什么你选 land freight 呢 ？I pick land freight because uh it it is less expensive compared to sea and air freight. Um, so if you want to like uh deliver goods from like uh medium um like a、uh, medium um distance. Uh, land flight is like the most cost efficient. Um, it is also like it has also like um less risk compared to sea flight. For sea flight, if you like uh if you encounter a storm or something, um the goods will be lost. But for land flight, uh it won't be affected that much. Um. Um. Then flight is also like, um, it's also more environmental friendly compared to air flight, cause um, air flight, uh, the carbon footprint, ah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Air flight produces more carbon footprint compared to uh land flight, um, so I feel land flight. So Taylor Swift usually take air freight, air freight or or land freight. Taylor Swift. Oh, no, Taylor Swift. When he travel, when she travel, you go what air right? Yeah. Yeah. So this your your idol ah, not eco friendly ah. <laughs> no, cause how are you supposed to travel from New York to um let's say Singapore? 那有些中央有些，那你看他讲到铁道隧道就声音很大声了哦，不爽我了。How can you？ 哇，你讲我的偶像鸡蛋糕，你不吃屎哇！臭王格瑞们，你再讲一次我扁你啊 ！Glory understand now, Glory. <laughs> I love the way he do that. I purposely. Anyway, thanks to Xin Yuan. Ah, I learned a lot of things from Taylor Swift, the lyrics and the songs. And one of them is a grandmother that the lyrics. What is that song called? Marjorie. Ah,、uh, and one more about break up with her boyfriend, right? Ah,、huh? like Coldplay. Coldplay. Oh, oh, why? You also Taylor Swift fan, ah? Ah, yeah, nah. You also、Coldplay、like Taylor Swift. Coldplay is、right? a band, why? No, Coldplay is a band, correct, right, sir? But I thought he knows ah、uh, Taylor Swift. Ah, yeah, nah. You you know Taylor Swift, ah? Cool. Thanks, ah,、uh, Xingyuan. And one thing for sure, ah,、uh, ah,、uh, in fact, not all the lands are very safe. Uh, recently got this oil tank. Um, um, the the truck、uh, contain a lot of oils. Ah,、uh, petrol. Ah,、uh, yeah, oil. Ah,、uh, to deliver to a petrol kiosk. Halfway through, it got accident, and the things, of course, is um capsized. Oh, not capsized. It collided, and it overturned. Ah,、uh, the whole entire container of the oils inside the truck burned, and caused a wildfire on the whole entire expressway. Same thing. When the oil tanker deliver the oils to a country to to pump petrol for the cars, if there's a leakage, ah, the oil leakage to the sea, like recently in Santosa, right? You know, right? The oil leakage, the whole entire oh beach ah and the sea are all filled with oil, and a lot of course, you know, poor marine life are being lost because of these、uh, pollutions and the oil leak, and it's one of the water pollutions that links to all other pollutions. Okay, thank you so much for all the five of you. So Chloe and Yenan, if you see that this is one ways to practice your oral, 
by right you guys are supposed to write so something like the the four of the five of you you haven't given me the essay so i leave it to you uh, seriously um this is the essay you're supposed to hand in for this month because next month we have a new topics and the next month topic is very interesting what is the next month topic let me see i uh, pull out the file give me one more minute uh, very fast uh. uh the next month topics will be this one here it is called cinema versus online movie so how often do you go to cinema to watch movie with your friends and your family or do you watch online movie like netflix uh disney plus the uh, disney plus right uh amazon prime uh hbo on the tv screen where you sit at the comfort of your home instead of going to cinema is it more cheaper mm -hmm. well that's the next month topic we're going to deal with it okay 